Here's what we do watch. Red flag warnings, they have been issued. They remain in effect through eight tonight. This does mean critical fire weather. Any uh, potential fire starting activities, try and refrain from through eight o'clock just until these winds do begin to diminish. You do see much of I-25 in the plains included within these alerts. As far as the winds are concerned, we do have a few hours left of gusty conditions, but watch as I put us into motion overnight tonight as we get through the 9, 10, 11 o'clock hour past midnight now. It's probably a welcome sight by many. We're talking single digit gusts by the airport, the metro area, and out across the plains. The foothills, some annoying gusts up to 30 miles per hour, but they do continue to diminish as well. So tomorrow we stay breezy, a much more typical early spring day here. We're talking gusts maybe 20 to 30 miles per hour. So no surprises by tomorrow. The weather will begin to calm overnight tonight. No surprises either. Temperatures right near the freezing mark. The metro area hovering within a degree or two of the freezing mark. Teens, 20s as you do head towards the foothills. So tomorrow does mark a change, a trend in the right direction if you want some calmer weather. Mid to upper 50s out across the front range, some 60s out across the plains. Fort Morgan likely to be our warm spot. 40s, maybe 50s for the foothills, depending where you're located, 30s and 40s as you venture west towards the high country. Jump in towards Arapahoe County, Greenwood Village at 59. Same holds true over towards South Glen. Now here's what everyone cares about tomorrow. That is, if you do like weather at least, the partial eclipse is headed our way. We don't get full totality, meaning the moon completely gets blocked, but it is still a sight to see. We have been forecasting clouds closely, and the trend has been our friend. Just a few clouds. The eclipse begins officially by about 1128 in the morning, and by 1240, this is peak viewing condition. Now, if you don't have the glasses, as we did mention earlier, you get your little colander, the strainer, put your back to the sun, hold it up, and you'll get the reflection towards the ground. It's a sight to see, and if you're lucky enough in traveling to view this, well, there should be some good travel conditions as well. So the eclipse is tomorrow. Then what we do watch is a slow but steady rebound temperature-wise. We do eventually, by about Wednesday, start to see much more typical temperatures. And that's what you see here, back into the 50s and 60s. So within a degree or two of average. So hang in there if you're not a fan of the last few days. And we will watch, just in time for the Masters over in Georgia, well, the potential for some unsettled weather. Calm for the weekend. By the weekend, Kelly, it's been a nonstop pattern lately. We could see our next system knocking on our doorstep. You know, I feel like it's ever since you joined our team that things have been as chaotic as they are. So, And I'm always out you? of the store. <laughs> I, I, you know what? Let's pump the brakes on that, though. Okay. Well, at least you're bringing some sunshine back. Thank you, there Joe. There you go.